Now they do have gravy in America, but it's slightly different to ours. And there's also gravy that you have they have with biscuits and gravy, but I won't try and explain what kind of gravy that is. I'll leave that to an American. <laughs> For another video I mentioned that I would do a video on some of the things that we have in our uh, cupboards that are British or sold mostly in Britain. So here goes. So first off we have Yorkshire tea and this was found in our local world market. It was shown in a previous video that I'd put a link to down below. And I'm not like a massive tea drinker, I never was at home but I do like to have it occasionally and linking in with that is they're not in the original box but we have some PG tips which are also found in our local world market. Then we have some Cadbury's drinking chocolate. We mainly drink it in the winter but we do occasionally have it this time of year as well and this was found also in our local world market. And then we have Kenko. This is an instant coffee. I, I love it. It's one of, it was one of my favourites back home. Not that I minded sort of like Sainsbury's own. I'm, I'm not too fussy when it comes to coffee. But Kenko, I love Kenko. So my family sent this actually. It's one of the refill packs. So they didn't have to pay too much on the cost of shipping. Then I have some birds custard. So my sister-in-law has family in Britain. And when they went to visit recently, she bought some birds custard back. Then we have some McVitie's digestive biscuits and I actually found these this past weekend in Walmart for three dollars. I think prices will probably vary across the country. I think I mentioned in a previous video that you can find digestives and here they are three dollars. Then we have some golden syrup and I found this in a local store. It's not sort of a, a, a chain store but it's just one of our local ones. It was a bit overpriced, and but we haven't obviously used much of it, which is good. And then we have some mint jelly. Again, it's not opened, but it is for in case we have uh, roast lamb anytime. Roast lamb doesn't seem to be as popular here, but if we do, I have mint jelly ready. Okay, and now going on to savoury things. I found these OXO beef cubes. They were in... Hmm, they were in a local... Like a, it's a very small store and it just happens to sell British things. So OXO, they do have stock, they do have their own sort of version of stock cubes, but it was nice to find OXO. And then I have two different types of gravy. We have the Bisto chicken gravy and Bisto beef gravy. Now they do have gravy in America, but it's slightly different to ours. And there's also gravy that you have, they have with biscuits and gravy, but I won't try and explain what kind of gravy that is. I'll leave that to an American. <laughs> then we have some Heinz baked beans. These were found in one of our local stores. They do have baked beans in America. They're just different to ours. We have a big jar of Marmite, which we found in World Market. That there's also, they're also available in Fred Meyer, I've seen. There's tiny little jars and they're just in their, sort of the normal section. I think it was in their baking section, but that's where they were. Then we have some Coleman's mustard. Again, this is just in our local Fred Meyer, and you, I think, in some stores they do the um, the powder version to mix up yourself or add to dishes that you want to make. Then we have Branston pickle. You can see this is actually really popular. We do have the just the sauce version as well, which my sister sent over for Zeb because he doesn't like the chunks as much, but I. I love it as it is. So we have some pickle. We found that at uh, one of our local shops. Then I have HP brown sauce. This is actually at our local grocery outlet, which was quite surprising, but Zeb likes it on his bacon butties. I know that's a bit controversial, brown sauce or ketchup. Which one do you prefer? Zeb prefers brown sauce. I prefer ketchup, not that I eat bacon. That's a whole other story. And then we have Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. You can buy this here in the normal stores at sort of a normal reasonable price. It's just in a slightly different packaging, but this is the original packaging from back home. So there's some of the things we have in our cupboard and in our fridge. 
another video we'll show you some of the treats that we've been sent and some of the treats that we've we've found i know digestives and maybe drinking chocolate could be seen as a treat but i will show you some of the the jams and the chocolates that we've been sent as well thank you for watching if you like it give us a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be notified when we post new videos bye Thank you.